is our first day of learning from home. I miss you all so much, but I'm really excited that we're still going to get to connect with each other, even though we can't be at our school right now. So this week we have a new letter. We're going to keep going through the alphabet like we would just if we were at school. And who can tell me what letter this is? It's letter E. Good job. And E makes a uh, uh sound. So I was sitting and brainstorming some E words and I came up with egg, eggplant, elephant, excellent, elegant. What E words can you come up with? And don't forget, we're still going to have show and tell this Friday. So if you can come up with some of those E words or find a toy that starts with E in your bedroom or, in, or something in your home, we can still share that for show and tell which I'm really excited that we still get to do that. The next thing that we're going to be doing today is I picked out a storybook for you, and I sent everyone a video of me reading this book. It's called Big Words for Little People. This book has a lot of really awesome big words in it. Some of the words you might know, and some of them you might not know. But this is an awesome opportunity for you to learn some new words, and then maybe you can, when you're done reading the story, you can use one of those big words and impress some big people in your life. The big word that we're going to focus on in the story is the word responsible. So we are all being super responsible by staying home right now and not getting to do all the really fun things that we normally get to do because there's a lot of germs going around our community and people are getting sick. So we're being very responsible by staying home, making sure we're washing our hands correctly, and covering our coughs and our sneezes so that we do not add more germs into the community and get people sick. So thank you all for being super responsible by staying home and learning from home. For art, I would be, um, I would love if you would make your own hand washing poster. I know yours is probably gonna look 10 times better than mine, so make sure you share a picture of it with me because you are all such amazing artists. So you can make yourself a hand washing poster just make sure you include the five steps of hand washing. Make sure you add that you need to wet your hands, you need to get soap, and then you need to scrub that soap all over. So what we practice at school is we get the fronts of our hands, the backs, we get in between our fingers, we get our thumbs, our wrists, and then our fingernails, right? And while we do this, we count to what number? Who knows? Number 20. And I know you all can count to number 20. And then when you're done scrubbing and getting those bubbles all over, you are going to rinse all the bubbles and all the germs off. And then your hands will be super clean. So you can make one hand washing poster and put it in your bathroom. If you have more than one bathroom, you can make more than one poster. If you have a sibling, you guys can do this together and put post these posters around your home and just remind your family that you need to be washing your hands so we do not spread more germs into our homes and into our communities. The next thing that we're um, I plan for you today is a ex science experiment we, um, talking more about germs. So there is a video you can watch and then if you have some of the supplies you can actually do this experiment at home. So if you have things like soap, water, and pepper, and you can do this uh, science experiment at home and it's great. It teaches you how soap keeps the germs away and kills the germs and protects us from ourselves getting germs and spreading them to other people. For math today, I have an activity planned. Um, I would love for you to build a landmark from around the world. So some examples, we always hear Niall talk about Big Ben from when he visited uh, London. So you can make Big Ben, which is basically a big clock. Um, we have the Eiffel Tower from France, the Great Wall of China, um, the Washington Monument from um, the United States. Some of you might have seen the Washington Monument before. But create one of those landmarks. Um, and then I want you to measure it. Make sure you're using those vocabulary words like inches, ruler, measuring tape. And that would be awesome. You can... If you Again, if you have a sibling, you guys can both build a, a landmark and then see whose is the tallest and who's the shortest. 
And then the last thing I have planned for you today as a class is um, music time. I know you guys love music circle time. Um, and it's something that I know we're going to miss seeing each other and doing music circle time. But you can create music at home, even if you don't have instruments. You can take pots and pans and make drums, which is everybody's favorite instrument. Or maybe you have an instrument at home that you can use. And then you can listen to your favorite music. So you can listen to the Frozen soundtrack and play along, or you can just make your own music. But that's everything I had planned for you today. Um, I'll also be sending home um, worksheets for you to do. And please save everything. Send me pictures. You can earn penny rewards for all the worksheets that you finish if you bring them to school or send me a picture and you can get penny rewards. And then we'll have a really big school store um, when we all go back to school. But I miss you all so much. I hope that we can connect and communicate with each other over the next few weeks. If you need anything, if you have any questions, I'm still here for you. And um, I'm really looking forward to working with you all the next few weeks. Bye.